Hello, hello, and welcome to Shortcuts Live. My name is Matthew Casanelli, and I am your host for this show. Um, I'm super excited today to be talking with Stephen Robles, a fellow Shortcuts creator, YouTuber, podcaster, great person all around. Um, I've been super impressed with Stephen's work. As I mean, everybody should be because he's doing awesome work, but it's great to have him on the show. We're going to talk about iOS 17.4 actions get activity and get orientation and a little bit about just Steven's videos in general. And then I want to talk with him about WWDC and what's coming up because it's very interesting related to shortcuts, even though it's all rumors. We'll see. So Steven, welcome to the show. Thanks so much for having me. I like your, your hand signal for rumors. I got a, now rumors. I'm using the, the prompter thing so I can see myself properly. So now I'm just like, I'm all, I'm dancing. I'm sorry. I'm excited. It's fun to have you on. Yeah. Oh, it's great to be here, man. And listen, I've I've been very appreciative that my shortcuts video has been doing well. But everyone needs to know, like you, the shortcuts Jedi. Okay, I am still a mere Padawan and have no idea what I'm doing. I'm Dude, just trying to make simple automations. That's why we're doing <laughs> so, this together, because it's there's so much, and it is like I don't I don't know. Everybody should be making shortcuts videos. It's I think I was I don't remember true. if I was telling you or somebody. I was like, why aren't more people? There's just an endless well of content, and people want it. I think it is just admittedly yeah. confusing. So the it can be any, basics but it hard. is infinite. Like there's exactly. like shortcuts can be literally infinite. Like infinite use cases, like everything. Right. What do you I, how many do you right, have I, right now? I should I don't wanna right it, that's not the point. I guess I, I shouldn't have done that. But listen, listen, no, no, <laughs> no, 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 no. You could you could you can flex in a second because I know I'll look on my iPhone just to be sure. I have six hundred and thirty five. That's perfect, which I know though. is probably what I feel like that's a reasonable you have. if I didn't take I feel like I just take every idea and then make 10 shortcuts out of that one idea. So like I have 400 folders, which is, I feel like the equivalent <laughs> of maybe that many shortcuts. So nice, nice. Uh, if it's all right, can I, can I start by running a shortcut, getting ready to, to film here? Yes. Perfect. Uh, is that all right? Totally. No, we didn't open with this. So I'm going to show my phone here on the live stream. And so whenever I film my phone, like when I make a shortcuts video, I have a shortcut uh, over here in my today view, and it's called recording video. And what this shortcut does is it sets my brightness manually on my iPhone and then uses URL schemes for settings so I can disable auto brightness and disable auto lock. So I'm gonna run this shortcut. You see it sends me over to the setting here so I can say auto lock never. It waits like two seconds and sends me over to the accessibility display so I can turn off auto brightness. And now my phone is at the perfect brightness. It also enabled my focus mode uh, for filming. And so now the brightness is set. My lock screen's not going to turn off or my screen's not going to turn off. So it's ready for filming. And the brightness is not going to change because I turned off auto brightness. And that's my filming shortcut. Dude, that is that's awesome. It. That is literally, so that's like the perfect example of what I was just saying. I have a folder with opening those different URL schemes, but I don't. Right, right. Instead, I should yeah, just have it do one by one. And it's totally because I'm trying to, I have this, like, I'm permanently stuck in gallery mode where I want to give you the auto lock thing and then the the display thing because then you can combine those and make this. Exactly. Um, but I need to make that more clear. Well, and this, uh, this is just that shortcut real quick. Um, so I basically have, I do the current date thing. This way I can say, enable my filming focus mode, but turn it off in one hour. Nice. So then, and then it sets my brightness to 11%. It, oh, it turns my appearance to dark mode, which is really helpful for apps like shortcuts or mail. That is like a lot of white background, which is hard to get on video. And then I have the open URL scheme for the lock screen there. It waits three seconds. So I have enough time to toggle it off and then goes to that uh, auto brightness in the accessibility settings. And I can turn it off there. And that's it. Nice dude. Right there. That's sick. Are you, have you shared that somewhere that we can send to people? It's after? in one of my videos. Okay. Yeah, it's, uh, I now have too many videos now where I don't know what to do. And I also have a done recording flow. Nice. And my, oh, oh, what do you classic. do? What do you do when you see this? Okay, this wait. This is live, live support. Okay, perfect, perfect. Let me hit feedback uh, on my chapter markers. This menu doesn't make sense. It doesn't show I hate the correct so device. The, even if it's on different devices, it'll always only show the title of the current device. Whichever right, one is most says, recent is usually it. 
Right, which is April 1st, which I didn't open these shortcuts in the last couple of days, so I don't even know why it's asking me this. You should go and into like... recently modified on your Mac and see basically every beta update my phone or my devices um, oh. tend to go through all of them. That looks... Oh, now I didn't, yeah, cool. I didn't see that. I've never done this, Matthew. I didn't realize you can hit the eye and see what's different, I guess. Yeah, it's exactly which... the same. It's exactly, <laughs> it's exactly the same. This gives me so much stress because I'm always like, I don't know what's going to happen if I choose the wrong one. But anyway, so this is uh, the shortcut I run when I'm done recording, which it sets my screen brightness. So it raises a little bit, turns my appearance to light mode, turns my filming focus off, and then opens the same two URL schemes so I can enable auto brightness and then set my auto lock back to uh, 30 seconds. That's my done recording flow. Nice. That's sick. Yeah. Do you like you take down anything? Do you have like a post production checklist? Oh, sorry, we're just jumping straight into this because I love. No, these no, kind please, of please, please. And I'll, I'll have chapter markers in the show notes for everybody. Yeah, yeah. Um, I don't have checklists or like templates even for my videos, which I, maybe I should. But I'm usually so like I have a Notion document where I basically write down what shortcuts I want to hit. Um, you know, I try to keep track of comments on YouTube videos where people are asking for different shortcuts. And then when I go to make the video, I just literally go to that Notion doc and go to each bullet point and make each shortcut. And then I publish it like 20 minutes later. <laughs> so it's, it's my yeah, whole flow. I mean, it makes sense. I'm flow. just curious for, I want to, I'm trying to automate every step of everything. So of course you gotta, <laughs> gotta do that. Um, yeah. Also, I, I just want to, quickly say we do have a bunch of comments and I want to encourage people to keep commenting and we'll respond oh, as yeah. we go too. Cause there's, can you see the comments Steven or I can, I do. This is so nice. Yeah. yeah it's I, I'm tuning so in now. Definitely say hi. And I'll, I'll like try to get you guys to give feedback at certain points as well. Oh, doc rock. I just saw him at the podcast moving conference. What's up doc. Oh, Good nice. to see you. Yeah. I didn't Pop even, Felix. I forgot to introduce that too, of all your stuff with R Riverside and all that. For I, sure. If you want to share about it, feel free. Yeah, sure. Well, I was at Pockets Movement last week. Got to talk about Riverside and represent Riverside. Um, I'm on the Riverside team. I make videos for their channel as well. And, you know, recording podcasts, all that kind of stuff. I think me and Matthew have used Riverside in the past to record shows, I think, for uh, Apple Insider. And we're going to have you on Primary Tech, uh, maybe post WWDC. You know, so there's new shortcut stuff. Maybe. maybe. It'd be fun to have you on. <laughs> have fun. Uh, but yeah, thanks, everybody. Bill uh, is on there. iBanks. Yeah, a bunch of people. This is fun. Yeah, totally. Nice. Let's, let's do some stuff. Nice. Uh, so, I mean, I, I've been re going back. Are you still using for your action button the skip forward podcasts? Is that your main one? Because it's, I yes. totally, I think it's a great idea. Is, well, because I don't, like I found, and we'll talk about it when we talk about like the orientation action uh, that's now in 17.4. But I went into, it was just too much of a cognitive load to think about all the things the action button can do. I found having the action button open a shortcuts folder was like, I might as well swipe over to the today view where I keep all my mm -hmm. shortcuts anyways for quick access. And so I really wanted the action button to just do a single thing that I use often that I don't have to think about. Yeah. And skipping forward two minutes while I'm playing an Apple podcast, because by default podcast has a maximum of 60 seconds skip forward which is silly because Overcast and Pocket Cast, you can do like two minutes, you can do as much as you want. But I can, I created a shortcut, it's very simple, where I basically just skip forward 120 seconds, that's the whole shortcut, <laughs> and I mapped that to the action button, and that was it, and nice. uh, and I did it. Let me uh, see if I could try to show it real quick. Uh, this is it. The whole shortcut is one action, <laughs> seek forward by 120 seconds, and with this action, you can see, uh, you know, you can choose a device. So, you know, you can choose like a HomePod or even an Apple TV if you want to skip forward while you're watching something or uh, listening on your HomePods. But I just have it skip forward 120 seconds on my iPhone. And that works for whatever media is playing. So if I'm listening to a, a podcast, an Apple podcast, it just does it, skips forward. And that's what I have my action button set to. So if I go to listening to a podcast, you know, like today's primary technology, <clears throat> you know, if I'm listening to that <laughs> and you'll see down here, it's at like, what does that say? Two minutes, 40, 50 seconds. I hit the action button and that skip forward two minutes. Now it's at four minutes, 50 seconds. And I, you know, you can change it in that shortcut if you want it to skip forward even more. And I have found that just to be kind of the ideal quick action button use case. And that's what I've kept it as. Nice. That's it. 
That makes a lot of yeah. sense. It's fun. Um, Yo, what, what do you do? What do you use your action button for? So I'm doing a different folder type method. Um, Okay. Yeah, you're just laughing already because you know. <laughs> yeah, um, I know there's going to be 18 different shortcuts depending on the time of day and the focus mode and whether it's well, snowing outside. Yeah. The the problem is I noticed in, in your video too that you, did, you didn't you did nest your if statements. And I'm wondering if that's something that I could do. Um, I just like um, want to because it seems proper for some reason. Um, <clears throat> sorry. Um, but just like well, I built a shortcut that change depending on focus mode but then i have so many focus modes that when i ran it it would just like go through the tree trying to figure out which mode it was in so i'm wondering if yours of just like do the thing first and then move on to the next step might be faster um huh i don't know so like i don't nest my if statements that's what you're saying right you yeah, actually you, your you just i mean maybe it was just for the demo too but you were uh just by like having an if action and then a second one it can just right. run that and then run the second step versus I was trying to do if otherwise, 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 oh. otherwise, otherwise. And so it like yeah. was essentially doing logic that it didn't need to, but there's no, this is like the same thing of, okay, real time, let me uh, get my chapter marker thing. I don't have my, okay, there it is. I think this is working. I'm <laughs> trying to get my chapters while I'm recording. Um, another feedback <laughs> That's is- That's a lot of work. Um, Wanted to say hi to Sigmund oh, Judge, by the way. Sigmund yeah, totally. is uh, tuning in. What's up, man? Um, yeah, I also don't know how to, like, I don't know how to use if statements really yeah. properly, like you and like Vatici. So I well, don't nest them. Why. Because it's, it it's needs like, switch statements is what I was, the feedback that they, they need a, a way to do multiple different things depending on a situation without you having to do if and an otherwise. But that's why I was wondering, mm -hmm. maybe I just hadn't thought to delete the otherwise. I mean, the delete otherwise thing doesn't really matter, but. Um, right. Just having multiple in a row, it still might execute it, but it doesn't have to like perform. Like it is doing math or something at a certain point, <laughs> and that's why just with the action button, I want it to go right away. And so, like, I want if right. it's and just it not in that state. This is even a problem we're going to run into with these seventeen point four actions. Is there's right too many options? What I, I do find, I mean, I typically will only program like four or five if statements because. I only have about four or five focus modes that I'm usually yeah. in. But like you're saying, what I do is I'll do an if statement. So if focus mode is filming, I'll put an action there. And then under the otherwise, I always leave that blank. My otherwise is like always blank. I don't you know even you put can the delete do nothing it? action. I didn't even know that. Yeah, see, if you just click that. the X, it just goes away just so you don't have to see it. And then okay, you can well, put it back do... also. Yeah, feel free to let's see, let's see. Do it in real time. I'm I'm going to, while listen. you're doing that, I'm going to get my, um, oh, you're black. Okay. There, there I know my, my, my black magic ATM switcher is a little finicky here. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. So let's do a uh, focus mode. So, and again, like this is going to show my naivete because I don't know. Okay. Get current focus. That's going to be my first action here. Then we're going to do an if statement. So if current focus and I think name is what I want to change that to. It, it'll it so, default to, you don't need to, oh, basically. Yeah, it'll do it either way. Okay. So the name, just so typically, the name one is a universal uh, variable that you can extract from any variable. So that's always there. But it'll usually gotcha. default to the first one or like the text if it applies in that situation. Okay. Well, so yeah, this is typically what I do is, so, you know, if we were doing, trying to do a, focus mode dependent action, like for the action button, get current focus if name is filming, which is my current focus mode. And whatever action, I don't know, let's just do flashlight. Um, we'll do set flashlight and we'll turn it on. And then the otherwise, oh, I see. So I usually just leave this blank, but I can see what you're saying. I can X that out. Yeah. And now if focus mode is filming, turn flashlight on. Let's, so, let's see if it works. So I'm gonna run this shortcut and look at that, flashlight is on because I'm in the filming mode. So it worked. Uh, to put it back, you tap on the details of the if statement, which you are freezing again, just FYI. Um, oh, why is that? There we go. So um, what do you the, mean? The uh, to the left of if, like the little icon, that's how you get to yes. that menu. Put back otherwise, you see that there? Oh, yeah, I got you. So if you want it back. Yeah. Okay. Okay, cool. So yeah, so that's that's typically what I do. But again, my cognitive load for 
thinking about what my phone is going to do depending on what focus mode I'm in. I've just not, I don't know, I'm not there. I don't, uh, I, I try to keep it simple. But uh, do we want to go to the 17.4 actions and talk um, about those? Well, hold on, let me, let me yeah, yeah, finish. Yeah. I have more of that. Um, here, why don't you go jump for. back into, um, so I'm not just talking to the, the phone. <laughs> the phone. <laughs> um, but basically the mine, phone. part of what I was trying to do was uh, get the current focus and then I have uh, get my shortcuts set to the folder named by that short uh, for that focus mode. So I have a folder of oh. video shortcuts and then it, it checks for get my video shortcuts and then uses choose from list. And instead of having that mini folder at the top, it does a full folder in the just normal shortcut Good. UI. Um, and so I can then inject any shortcuts into there. Um, and then the trick is in before choose from list, you use the list action and create or, or add to variable, but um, you create multiple sets of shortcuts. So then I also have, um, I basically made a folder of all of the action button functions, just like translate and stuff. I made a default set. So that always gets injected at the bottom and then um, I'm just gonna keep going, because why not? Um, I have one shortcut from one of my shortcuts uh, folders that opens a folder, because I have 400 folders, and so half the time I'm sitting there scrolling, right. waste of time, I'll just type in the name of the folder and it'll take me in there. Um, and then oh, that's smart. I also inject two default sets, because since I have so many focus modes, I try to hide other screens, but like, I always want to be right. able to listen to music, even if the screen isn't open. And so I have my music and social media ones just like always available as well. So essentially gotcha. the like middle set of shortcuts changes depending on the focus modes, but I always have my one shortcut thing, at my folder one at the top, and then these default daily, yeah. like just mess around kind of things. Um, that's but that's it's, advanced. Yeah. I mean, it's, this is when you do it for your full time job. It's <laughs> plus it's just like I can't yeah, I can't use them all otherwise. And this is a way that actually right, right. even beyond folders, I can use as many shortcuts as I want. And so this is really like why I'm the way I am. And the only way it works <laughs> is because it essentially means I can add new functions to any folder and always access it with the tap of a button and it's all oh, contextual. So like I'm that's living good. in 2020, 20, 20, 20, oh no, no, 30, 24, you're <laughs> yeah. living in 30, 24. Uh, <laughs> well, before, so before I forget, I did want to mention this, sure. uh, if automation, uh, so this is an automation I have set up. And so one of the things I like to do is when I open certain social media apps, like Instagram or TikTok, I like to turn the volume down to zero on my media volume, this way that nothing loud happens that I'm not expecting. Because my phone's always on silent, but sometimes the media volume will play. Totally. And so I created this automation where it, at first I just had to lower the volume to zero if I open Instagram or TikTok. But if I was ever listening to a podcast and I opened one of those apps, I didn't want the volume to turn to zero because I was listening to something. So I created this advanced automation. So this runs whenever I open TikTok or Instagram. And this is using the actions third-party app for shortcuts where you can get those additional actions. And there's an action called is audio playing. There's probably a cleaner way to do this, but it basically yeah. tells you, says yes or no. And so if audio playing is no, meaning I'm not playing a podcast, it's gonna set my volume down to 0%. And then because it's an, an otherwise, so if volume or if audio is playing, basically if this is not no, or if this is yes, it does nothing. So it doesn't touch my volume. This way, if I open the Instagram app and I'm listening to a podcast already, it stays up and I'm still listening. But if I'm not listening to a podcast or music and I open Instagram or TikTok, the media volume goes to zero. So nothing plays when I didn't expect it. And I was pretty proud of this one. I thought that was fun. Nice. I definitely, no, uh, I just want to say if you want to, the text action, um, yeah, you can, <laughs> yeah, totally. This is real time. I know, no, I know this is too much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, but this is perfect. Is it, uh, 
try deleting the text action and then replace do put the that one into the variable yeah clear that out so clear. um so let me if, show you how to do this because it is oh i know what it is it's a boolean isn't it press yeah select the is audio playing and it doesn't see, but then i can't so it, right. this is where it's confusing uh the first option is true otherwise is false it just like Oh, you just okay. have to know this about shortcuts, which is like, ah, <laughs> oh, lovely. Um, oh, oh, look at that, because it has the, I see, so the so Boolean is right there. If you also want to force it the way that you're doing, you can change the type to text right there in the middle, um, and then it'll coerce it into a text format, and then it'll oh, just be good. the word yes. And it might also be... Oh. Oh, yeah, there it is. Wait, is that a... Click on no. Is that a selection? No, no that's, that's just what you in. typed in um, before. Right. Um, so. So you'd well, have I'll to. I'll tell you what. Let's let's do what you were doing. So let's yeah. do a boolean. Boolean is and easy so this. Prefer. So the first one is no, right? So if audio playing is no. No, I think that's true. Volume. So you might need to move media to the second into the otherwise category now. Okay. And that's the okay. false. Um condition okay yeah well let's tr let's try it yeah so, i mean you could test right? it from the automation but oh yeah. Oh, well more. let's see so the volume is up now and so i'm going to i guess open instagram hopefully nothing wild comes up i'll open instagram and oh so the volume went down to zero just like that yes i follow kat von d so the volume <laughs> went to zero because i was not playing something so now let me play my podcast, Primary Technology. I'll turn the volume up so it's playing. And now if I open Instagram, it did nothing. So the podcast is still playing. Perfect. It, okay, nice. Yeah. Yeah, that worked out. You're right. Okay. Just uh, There's always a million edge cases with shortcuts. That's what's always like. Yeah. I mean, that's perfect, though, that that's a... Just changing the variable type and thing is not something that like anyone should know by default. Um, right. <laughs> that's Antonio all stuff that I learned. Bueno. Yeah. yeah Antonio, Antonio Bueno. Knows. Oh my gosh. Yeah, he knows. What's going on? Hold on. <laughs> I have two video sources that I'm trying. Give me a second. <laughs> so Matthew is he's hacking the matrix. I'm trying he's to. Well, you made me jealous, and so I'm trying to bring in <laughs> my overhead camera now. Um, so you got the, is that three cameras? You got three cameras? Yeah, that's probably why. See, <laughs> I do have this. Oh, look at that. Yeah, look yeah, at that. So that looks good. I just I just unplugged it the other day. Um, so hold on. I I don't want to do this too much in real time because it I'll I'll when you're talking, I'm gonna do it just to be honest. Okay. Um, okay. <laughs> so but that's why <laughs> this is live, because we can change things as that's we it. go. Um uh, also Antonio was saying something about find my actions in 17.5. Um, uh, okay. he's asking if the find my actions are fixed, which I, I am running the beta on a separate device. I can check. Do you know what he's talking about? Though? Oh, find items. Um, that's, there's been a bug here. Let me bring these chats in fixed in 17.5. Yeah. So there's been a bug in 17.4 where if you're using third party apps, uh, that find and like get data out of them, it won't on iOS, it'll crash or on Mac, it won't work at all. On iOS, it'll crash unless you reopen shortcuts and then quickly open the shortcut, in which case it will work. Lovely. <laughs> um, okay, it does seem to be fixed. Antonio says, a workaround, kill the app and open the shortcut in the editor as fast as possible. <laughs> I don't know if that's, uh, know if that's fixed. Yeah, the, well, that's 17.4. So if, you're, if you haven't oh, updated yeah, to the beta, yeah. um, you can get around this, but not on Mac. And so that is a question. I, d I don't think Antonio does betas on the Mac and... I didn't want to right before not. the stream, so I figured I, I'd I don't do that. Um, oh, uh, here's, Mac Club, yeah. yeah, does Apple have any HomeKit shortcuts? As a matter of fact. They do, but I mean, it kind of, it's still outdated. Um, Control Home, do you want to, do you have one to show? To bring it in. Uh, I mean, I have a I have a bunch we can show. It's, it's, you know, the biggest thing is like toggling. Toggling is still the issue. Well, okay, um, there's a secret action. Oh. A secret, a secret they, action. I Wait don't a minute. Think they took away or something. There's a uh, accessories action. Um, well, so if I search home, 
I don't think Fair it's enough. available unless you already have it. There's a couple of actions that are still around, but you can't open them. <laughs> you can't get it unless you already have it. And so, like, Antonio's uh, published a shortcut that just includes all of them. Um, uh, well, these are the two that come. I mean, you have the get state and control. And so, like, you can control and set any number of devices. And typically, uh, what I will do is the home status. What was it called? Uh, the the get state. You know, so I would typically, you know, if I wanted to toggle something, and Matthew, you could tell me if there's a better way to do this. But if I was going to do, like, get the uh, key light status, let's do that. So get key light power state. And then I would usually add an if statement. And if, come on, I'm going to move these actions here. If, oh, I guess I didn't even need to do that first one. My bad. Yeah. You don't even what need to. I was going to gonna say, I was waiting for it. Uh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> if key light is on, so you could just choose one of your home access. Then you can, I typically choose the same accessory. So if key light is on, turn it off and then i can duplicate that action i know how to do that otherwise turn key light on so basically if it's on it'll turn it off and if it's off it'll turn it on this is typically how i do like toggle a light or something in the house and so i can run this let's see you'll see it get dark <laughs> so it worked it toggled it off because it was already on and if i run it again it turns it on because it was off Oh, and it froze, so it doesn't even look like it. anything happened. But it well, it did, in fact, uh, change it. So, just believe me. Yeah. Um, <laughs> um, oh, I don't know why it keeps freezing. Yeah, I mean, um, uh, that's is there a better way to do that, or is that really it? Live. Sorry. Is that but that's the best way to do a toggle like that, right? Like, there's not really another. Yeah, one I think so. Right now, um, and yeah, like you said, the the main thing about being able to. Um, oh wait, hold on. I am. Um, Sorry, I'm switching yeah, modes just... around. Um, the the part yeah. about not needing to get it first is helpful because you can just you can save sure. yourself a step, and then you can also duplicate that. Um, with, there's, I'm trying to even there think. There just needs there's to be a toggle. A edge like cases. instead of instead of set, like you should just be able to tap the home icon, and there should just be a toggle, <laughs> like toggle yeah. light. Let me That's see. all you know. Um, it's toggle for other things. Now let me bring anyway. it back in here. Oh, wait, I got a new scene. I don't think this is full res. I'm trying to get it. My my camera thing is weird. Oh, I'm looking, I think, I'm looking I, at I think your, it might be his. Look at all those is, folders. Oh, let me turn up the brightness. Wait, um, you put the word shortcuts in all of your folder shortcuts names? That's for the action button because oh, it, it uses it as a keyword. Um, okay. Hold on. This is, there's this. Look at this. Wait There's an action called toggle accessory state. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Do I have that? No. <laughs> wait, why don't I have it? <laughs> what, wait, what happened? <laughs> it's just magical. Uh, I found this at some point and just I like held on to it because I was waiting for it to get published and then it just never got published, but I still have it. So this might be a teaser for iOS 18. Um, I can share this with you, but. Wait a minute! Wait, 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 wait! When, when did that appear in the shortcut? When did that happen? Uh, I think like two versions ago. Um, they just didn't. Here, wait. Let me see if it. Can I bring this in here too? See, this is because you you probably play with every single shortcuts action, every beta, don't you? Like every usually. I mean, I try. Beta. Um, so I, it might have even been from the iOS 17 days. Um, here, wait. I like it yeah. this way. There we go. Oh, that's that's it the action we works. need. Um, yeah, so no, it's here. It's just not available. And uh, check out matthewcastinelli.com slash membership. Um, no, I'll give it to any. I'll put it in the show notes of this oh, for sure. Um, but th this is totally like they have. What's another one? Um, I mean, get variable for a while. They hid and then brought back Oh yeah, yeah. Um, because they just didn't know. There's Antonio. I feel like if he's still here, he, he definitely knows. Um <laughs> Hmm. What's the other one? Uh, I think even get something. One of the get my shortcuts ones isn't available. If you or you just don't see it, it's available, but it's not. 
Okay, so real-time strange. feedback again. Running my feedback shortcut. Get my shortcuts, open shortcut. But open folder isn't there. Shortcuts. What in the world? Interesting. Uh, oh, <laughs> this is what sorry, happens to your screen. shortcuts library. Look at this. Load. Delete my shortcuts, open shortcut, search in shortcuts, and open folder are all available and not shown. Um, what? I mean, the delete my shortcut, delete shortcuts I get because like most people sure <laughs> programmatically sure, delete sure. all their shortcuts oh yeah right find mail is a good example there's a way yeah. to find mail yeah. actions i can't remember if i have this anymore i think it might just be broken like stock mail app actions yeah there's the ability oh, to search oh yeah search and mail no no search and mail is there it's okay. literally like retrieve messages from the mail app okay wait action button Let's see oh. if it's, I'm not, I might not be in a focus mode that is set up. I don't have all these perfect. So now it's trying to retrieve all of my shortcuts. 5,152 is the number. Yes. Um, that's including <laughs> app shortcuts though. So that is like. Sure, sure. Just, oh no, it's not populating too. Um, this, as soon as card pointers opens, that'll add 800 more of them. Yeah, see, look, oh. it's trying to give me all of my right. shortcuts to run which is oh the fact goodness. that this works now props to the shortcuts team because for a sure. while it couldn't have done that like they they are there's like 500 program uh, issues wrong with it and they've knocked out 100 of them but there's still 400 left um <laughs> rowan strang also said the find mail was in beta and then got taken out yeah so. no that's that's why i'm like i think I think it just um, doesn't work anymore. I think I have, oh yeah, here. Yeah, it's just not available anymore. Oh, I'm but honestly though, like, like what does happen with the betas and is understandable is that you do this, they release this, and then some person who has 150,000 emails runs this <laughs> once and it crashes their <laughs> it device crashed. for like two weeks sure. or something. So like <laughs> there are major, major yeah. considerations for some of these and like sure. sometimes if when we get a security update and it says an application was updated to prevent like a secure logging stuff it's like uh i would think that might be shortcuts because like someone trying to run javascript on a web page using shortcuts is like creates these unintended situations that ios really was never designed for um so there's a reasonable amount of that but that total accessory thing let's yeah, let's just go wild I, with we, it. Honestly, you should make a video about it, anyways. And I've I've done the toggle shortcut uh, in a pat. I think I did it in one of my action button shortcuts videos because Mark German specifically asked, "How do I toggle a, a HomeKit device?" And so I made that as an action button shortcut. Yeah, no, it which works. you know, yeah, uh, that's cool. You do the if statement, but um, I mean, yeah, this but this is wow. better. And I mean, the if statement stuff. What I don't like, the if statement would be fine if we had something better than control home. That's what I don't like right, is right. it's just like you can't set it to a specific percentage and things like that. It's all very like right, the home right. kit UI packed into a act just a single do action it button. <laughs> um, yeah. So here, let's go back here. So that, all I mean, right. that's that alone. The, the the toggle thing for HomeKit though is necessary, but for now right. that we're freaking forty minutes in, let's get to the topic. I guess um, <laughs> let's get to the thing. I mean, that's no. the point. Wasn't just that action, but uh, no, it's no, all of no, because no, it's, cool. it's action. The action button is why this is important, and that's having nice. proper nesting and everything. Or it is like it all just comes down to like, what do you really need? And this is a good example of these actions give you almost too much choice because now there's if you intermix activity and orientation like obviously you can just pick one and it's probably what most people will right. do but for me right for me i'm like man what do i do i have to do i have to do all if of it I'm, at once if i'm running and my iphone is upside down and i have this focus mode enabled then turn on the flashlight yeah and all then. nested within one if statement um Shortcut so. takes three days to run, and you're <laughs> you're done with your exercise by that point. Um, so, yeah. what do you think with 
I mean, we have get activity now and get orientation. Yes. And then yes. get activity is walking, stationary, driving. Like there are some clear right. ones there. Um, I think the orientation one, I really think you should probably keep them separate. Like I do think just trying to yes. combine it into anything like I want yeah, to, I'm, but I need it. This is where I need to sit on a stream with Antonio for four hours and then we'll, we'll make the master one, but it then will just be slow. Um, well, it's slow. And again, the cognitive load, I feel like is something. So I could, do you want me to show you the couple of use cases yeah, that I did totally. that, uh, that, let's see if this, uh, let's see if I can do this without freezing my camera, oh. which is apparently not possible. We'll cut it out in <laughs> real time. Uh, we'll cut it out. Cut it out. There we go. Okay. Oh, wait, so no, here I'm we have, me. this is, um, so the new action in 17.4 are the two ones orientation which to be clear you could have done uh, i have to spell orientation properly mm -hmm. i guess uh, you could have done this with toolbox pro i believe or, or the action slightly froze by the way um just to in case by slightly froze Matthew as in you are frozen completely um. froze <laughs> yeah i don't know why my black magic hates him freezes like this when i'm switching things okay so oh, cool. this is the action third party app and so that's actually how I, and many people did it with the action button when it first came out. But now mm -hmm. this get orientation is new in iOS 17.4. So if you do the get orientation, now you can add the if statement. And if orientation is, and it has all the different options for orientation. Now, again, cognitive load, I find that, um, you know, I, I don't think it's helpful to have like a bunch of different things. So I typically had like three different orientations that I would program. The first one would be face down. So if your iPhone is face down, you know, think about like if you're at dinner or at a table, this seems like a prime action for setting your, your device to mute and turning off volume. Now, I actually have a shortcut called super mute that does both things. It actually turns my media volume down to zero and mutes the device. Nice. But you can also just search for the single action, the uh, silent. Is it silent? Let's the, see. Uh, Set silent mode. Yeah. You also, it, we got a black screen again. I'm not. I don't know. What is <laughs> happening, Matthew? Why is this happening to me? I don't know no what's worries. going we, on. We'll, we'll have chapter markers if people are watching the replay too, so we can skip ahead. Um. <laughs> I'm, I'm not even using my stream deck anymore. I was using my stream deck like hotkeys. And uh, anyways, okay, here mm -hmm. it is. So set silent mode is here. So we could put this under that if statement. So if my phone is face down, turn silent mode on. And unfortunately, this action is only available to like 15 Pro and Pro Max because since the silent uh, the mute switch has been replaced by the action button we get this action but other iphones don't have this yet which is unfortunate so if orientation is face down turn silent mode on now you can do another if statement so i'm going to remove that otherwise like we talked about and so we can do another if statement and do the same thing orientation is and let's do uh landscape left like if you were holding your phone as if to take a picture then you can do something like open app as an action and open your camera. So if orientation is landscape left, open, and I probably search for it, but camera. So now, well, you know, and obviously, you can, go ahead. Use the camera action. That's the, the new one. Do you remember that? Wait, that you can open to the what? specific lens. Oh, oh, wait a minute. See? This is why Matthew is the, the guru. So the open camera action. Yeah, oh. I don't know why it's called open camera. That's not a good title. Yeah, I mean, because I would think, but oh, yeah, it just it thinks it opens the camera, not literally yeah. open a specific lens or something. Wow. So there we go. I mean, it's still photo. probably be photo mode, but yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you can open photo. <laughs> um, Portrait mode, though, could be, that's why, Portrait okay, mode. we're yeah. real-time genius, of course, from Stephen. And, and combined portrait, if you're in portrait mode, open the portrait Oh my versus goodness. like video to right. the left or something. That is, yep, you could do that. That is true. <laughs> so typically I did this. If face down, turn silent mode on. If orientation is landscape left, take a photo or open the camera to open photos. And then I think there was one other one. Um, you can also do like orientation is 
down or portrait upside down, which is basically like in your pocket orientation. <laughs> like that's basically what that action is calling for. And you could do that one for set silence mode if you wanted to do that. But let's do a let's do face up because that's a diff that's another one. So if iPhone is face up, open the camera to take a photo. And I'll tell you what, let's actually see if it does the selfie mode. So let's do yeah. selfie. So right now my phone is face up. And oh, of course my biggest I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. I'll tell you what I'm gonna do, Matthew. Sure. I'm gonna unplug this should this will be fine. Don't don't worry about it. It's gonna be totally fine. I'm going to unplug my black magic A10 mini switcher and I'm gonna go black. You can still hear me though, right? Yep. And let's see. I might have to choose an ecam my video device again. Can I do that? Uh, it's going to be my studio display camera. Hello. And then black. black I'm line. still just seeing the hands, just so you know. Yeah, yeah. Okay, there we go. Oh, man. Why? Matthew, I'm so sorry. No, dude, don't that... worry about it. Honestly, for people, if you're re -watch, watching the replay, you can skip ahead with the chapters. This is what happens with live. We got it. It's don't don't worry at all because it uh, it takes a minute. Well, Let me show mine if you want to mess with yours uh, for a second. Um, please get orientation because I think the the other thing that you can do that isn't super obvious is getting the using that same thing the the text of what it says. So if you look in the name of the orientation and it contains portrait, you can have essentially a double status where like okay wait oh what are the options again that's Maybe. that's pretty slick portrait it does take a moment face up looking. oh it says portrait upside down and portrait those are the two yeah so maybe actions. landscape would probably be a better um one but if, yeah if you do the name contains landscape then do open camera to video and if it's vertical do a portrait right or okay wait how could there you, you what's uh what's a state of being where you would want to do wait what why is the camera action not there um where you would want to use cinematic you mode it? as opposed to normal oh oh it's called camera mode i guess you could do you know what camera mode oh you know what's fascinating too that's these are Siri, these are app shortcuts. So in theory right now, I should be able to say open slow-mo mode and it'll do that. I don't actually know if it will. Um, let's see, open camera, open slow-mo mode. I said solo, <laughs> open cinematic <laughs> mode. Let's keep it. Ah, ah yes. so they're short that's a, that's a whole thing this is a whole other topic within a topic of course as it goes with shortcuts there wow. oh wait no i just lost my accessory state frick <laughs> wait like it's gone yeah i was i might have oh. i'm pretty sure i have it backed up don't worry but <laughs> oh no it's gone it's somewhere undo. on the it's it's on reddit um that's it's hilarious reddit. though I just wow. changed it and just got rid of the only version. But like all of these are app shortcuts. And so anything that's in here, you can call by name. All the oh. developers have put in the work. Like this one's up more obvious, but like. Yeah. Uh, Sigmund was saying the Blackmagic camera app has a bunch of shortcut actions as well. Uh, so oh. Oh. Wait Do a you second. have that installed? Yeah, real quick. Perfect. Um, I love the segue because. All, all these again, chapter markers where we can get through each little bit. Black. Is it two words? I think it's one word. Black magic cam right there. Oh my God. Oh my yeah. goodness. <laughs> all right. Now, based oh. on the orientation, what should the ISO be? But unless <laughs> we're in cinematic mode and therefore the weather is 97 <laughs> degrees. So stabilization. Now you, I should, mean. <laughs> actually do like if cloudy and past a certain time oh my god set the iso to, to, like you could do that right <laughs> like you could do all of that 
This is really insane. Well, that's where that's where yeah. like if you actually know a cinematographer, like they'll be like, yeah, that's yeah. legit. It's own. It just matters on what you actually use it for. Um, that's if cool. Golden though. hour. Oh man, that's very cool. Sigmund, you just wasted so much of my time. No, I'm just kidding. But <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna spend so much that's time awesome. on these. That's awesome. Thank you. That's perfect. Excellent real time feedback. <laughs> I've already yep. done this golden hour. Golden hour. Oh, nice, yeah. nice. Yeah. Okay. Um, did you get your camera thing working? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I could show, okay. we'll show, um, let's run this orientation. So, you know, I have two orientations here. Face up, it should open the selfie camera, and you should see my overhead camera setup. So let's run it. Oh, we have to allow, of course. And there we go. Opens it in selfie mode. Oh, of course it froze right as I ran the shortcut. Yeah. Wow, Matthew. Do it again. Do it again. Wow. Oh, the camera froze. Wow. I thought the lens let it. <laughs> no, it was the, oh, my word. I'm about to just connect my over camera director thing so here it is let's run it and it opened the selfie camera because my phone was face up nice so there you go it works and And then you know silent mode if it's face down and whatever else you want to do all the different orientations if you want to do it so look at this look at this comment bill killer i wonder if putting a stop this shortcut at the end of each if block would have a noticeable impact on the performance i guess yes up until the last iteration because it will still have to go through those but that is a really good point um it just doesn't have to continue because that was what would happen is if the first mode hit it still continued to go through all the different ifs just because it's not right that's where they can totally fix this i think it's i mean man it, it is super true that when workflow was getting acquired we were trying to add a bunch of actions because it was like it's much easier to when we're an independent company and can just choose to than it is to like dedicate engineering hours to stuff like right, that. Right, um, right. And switch statements was mm. on there. Also, OAuth, I wanted. I don't think it, there was ever like any literal implementation of it, but I just want to be able to save my logins in shortcuts and then off into an API directly rather than using like passing along my api keys in text um Hmm. that's another one that i was like that's pretty good i was like man can you guys just like it it, it's totally (laughs) just for more inside baseball it's totally the thing that like if ari had free time and could spend two weekends on it he probably could do it but it's like when you're someone like that that has a million other things in the world it's like and it's not that doesn't move the needle on Siri shortcuts. So like, <laughs> right. <laughs> oh man. Let me, let me ask you this. This is slightly off topic, but you know, one of the things I would do if set orientation, you know, is maybe like play podcast, but is there any way, is there an action where I can resume the currently running podcast? Like shortcuts actions. Uh, Let's see if this actually works. I think you just play the podcast with nothing. See, but if you do the play podcast action, you have to choose a specific don't. podcast. Don't you? Oh no, you I just leave so. it blank. Just try it. That's. I think it does. I think if you're, okay. I mean, okay. if you have one, this is what I use. I have a shortcut that's just called play podcast, and it just does that, and it's empty, and it doesn't ask you to pick either. All right, I'm gonna run it. So was that that? Oh my word! All this time, Matthew. So wait a minute. No, no, wait a minute. Here's the, here's the thing. So I'll, let me go to, I'm going to go to music real quick okay. and I'm going to say like, all right, I'm going to play, I've played a piece of music. Here's the, uh, the Dune 2 soundtrack. And nice. so let's say I was listening to, oh, you know, whatever the, the Dune thing is. Okay. So that was, <laughs> yeah, thank you. I need the Sardaukar sound. Okay. So I just, I played music. Actually, you know what? I'll just leave it playing. So now if I run that same, if this works, Matthew, I'm gonna be so mad because I've been wanting this forever. If I hit play on this, will it do it? Oh my <laughs> word! How that's so not obvious. That is not obvious that that would actually do that. <laughs> the just wow. the default state of something sometimes does have its own. I mean, it in theory it should ask you which podcast, but it's it is like that's not a good experience, and they can choose to. Turn that off. I love it. Well, because I was always looking for an action that was just resume current yeah. podcast. You know, that that's the action. You know, that's what I actually want to happen. Well, that's it, nice technically, to know, I guess. it if there wasn't one playing, 
it wouldn't know what to do. And I think it, and in that state, it might do like whatever's in your up next. Um, right. I guess you'd really have to like perfectly finish one and have it not continue. But yeah, that's a great one. Um, see, that's a good example, man, of how do I sell or not, not literally sell, but like sell the idea right. of a shortcut that's just to start your podcasts. Like it seems that's one thing that's so hard about shortcuts is people want it to like do everything for you and you can do everything in little bits but like i don't know it's fascinating how just like that little feature is there and it's super useful and otherwise but like you kind of just have to know about it and i mean that's why people go to that's why we have jobs (laughs) on youtube and stuff (laughs) but but, uh, uh, yeah but but it would remove so much friction because the the shortcut i wanted to create forever was my 2011 kia soul Whenever I would turn on the car, my phone would connect to Bluetooth. It wouldn't autoplay. Like it never autoplayed mm. uh, what was currently playing. And so I always wanted to just say, when connected to Bluetooth device, namely my car, uh, resume whatever podcast I was listening to. Like yeah, that's all I not, ever wanted to do. You can do that with the car. And I could have done it. Yeah. So. <laughs> right. And I, I just didn't know that the play podcast action actually worked like that. So. Yeah. That's a, I mean, that's a good example. You would assume that you had to pick one though, or that it would ask you right. when you ran it and which is not what you want um but yeah totally well now you know that's why <laughs> now everybody has to tune in to both know. your videos and my streams and my because <laughs> it exactly is true right. that's why i gotta that's get exactly right. the, these streams are where we can get 10 different deep tips like that that you would like to make a video about it is like yeah. 10 tips for the if action like <laughs> <laughs> so i had no idea I had uh, no idea yeah. um so the other the other action right for seventeen dot four was was it activity or motion? Activity, no, I yeah. forget what it was. I guess does it Get require an Apple Watch? I didn't. You said it was in the workouts. I guess. Well, I don't know because you can do workouts point. without the watch, um, with shortcuts. Which again, right? Because you could just do the Steven video topic, how to do workouts without Apple Watch. Um, also, you can oh, log every true. type of health sample data. Oh man, that's why I have four thousand. I have like two hundred and fifty just for the health app. <laughs> I do use the uh, log health sample for several different things. Yeah. Why is activity not coming up, Matthew? What is going on here? I'm searching for activity. Well, the and shortcut search. Oh, get f- physical get activity. Um, oh, that Mar- search part <laughs> is kind of brutal too. Now that people like you it have is. so many action, like you and I have so many actions, it doesn't show yeah. the one that you want at the top. But here, this was a 17.4 edition, so get physical activity. And if physical activity is, and these are the different options you have, stationary, walking, running, cycling. And again, like you were saying, it's really dependent on like a workout. So if you were doing a walking workout, again, maybe you want to make this an action button thing. And is, is well, anyway, so you could do like maybe open. Uh, yeah, like uh, what would you actually do you with use? walking is one, like running can be more obvious like turn off uh sound this is okay so perfect time in the chat people tell me what you would do with this and we can and we'll keep going but like what would you want with this well Uh, and this might be you know if someone uses a specific cycling app so they start their cycling workout but they want to open i forget what it's called like strava or like one of the other like specific cycling apps then you could say if like you currently have a cycling workout running open app action and open the strava app you know you could do that um or maybe if walking, maybe you want to do that play podcast <laughs> action. Yeah. Okay. Because perfect. you want to you listen to I mean? music like, while you run, but w- listen to podcasts while you walk. Right. So if the physical activity is walking, like you're doing an outdoor walk, then you hit the action button or back tap, and then it'll just automatically resume your last podcast or whichever one you were listening to. So that seems like a cool, you know. Oh, wait. Here's case. another one. Uh, start workout. The, okay. This is, I just unlocked it because. In my brain, this didn't make sense unless you were already moving, in which case I'm right. already kind of doing the thing. But now right. if in each state you could have start walking workout, start running workout, duh. <laughs> oh, oh man, how do I not think of that? <laughs> so yeah, because you could do, let's see, the workout action and uh, yeah, start workout, allow access. 
Interesting. Okay. Yeah, you have yes. to give it, just do all of them. That's because it yeah, logs yeah. all your data too. Yeah, that's true. This right, is right. for Apple Watch. Um, right. So you could do the uh, the outdoor walk with open goal. So if physical activity is walking, okay, wait. Outdoor walk. Now, double fancy. How long is the podcast? And start a goal <laughs> for the. But like that's that's kind of the time to walk thing. Okay, yeah, put play yeah, above it. That's true. And then do you get podcast details? Oh my word! Okay. Yeah, this is why. I mean, it's like you don't need to do it, but this this is exactly like what you can do is different than what you should do. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Just because you can. Did anyone ask? So let's do a. Yeah, you got it. Okay, so if we do. Yeah, sorry, sorry. You know, you know. So play <laughs> no, prior technology. <laughs> Please do. Get uh oh duration from. And then we do, oh, do I have to do get details of like episode? Oh, no. Is this, is that even possible? Yeah. <laughs> get details it's of not... podcast episode? Okay, here, let's do this. No, you already had that, um, didn't you? Well, that I did. No, I think I did. Yeah, play podcast right. doesn't provide output is what's happening. So let's oh. double double it up. You can get get the podcast from your library, get episodes from the podcast. And here's another, I'm going to put file read time, real time feedback. It provides the podcast episodes in reverse chronological order, which is so dumb. So get podcast from library. Yeah. Do it after play. Probably it doesn't necessarily matter, but okay. Yeah. Get and then now and get, then what? get episodes from the podcast. <laughs> this is okay. this I'm is so, getting I'm so little... nervous right now. I've yeah, never no, done it's... this. Okay, get get episodes of podcasts. Got yeah. It. So then that'll provide the last ten, but it provides them. The first one is the tenth, and then the last one. So let me see, Stephen. Would you know what to do here? Or <laughs> wait, wait. So shortcuts. how does it wait? How does it know? It says it says get episodes of podcasts, but it's not chosen. Oh, okay. The actual podcast. So I probably no, need I to see. do the. You'd have to. Okay, get... never mind. I did it wrong. Uh, find podcast from oh, the Apple Podcast <laughs> Library. Find podcast. This is they're missing critical actions to make this not stupid. Um. So find like I have to type it in. Yeah, I, uh, this is not ideal for sure. Um, in theory, what you could do is use a text action before. And then use the variable of the text oh, to sure. play and fill this out if you didn't want to type it twice. <laughs> so get duration of. Uh, so you need to get on. the last. You need to get item from list after get episodes. <laughs> and then, <laughs> dude, I do this. Item, this this stuff is critical techniques, even though it's stupid. <laughs> no, no, no you're, right, you're right. You're right. Right. So get episodes um, of podcasts. Get and now first get item. last item because that's the next uh, episode. The if you did first item, you would get the tenth one. I don't know why they chose. And then it. I now yeah, and I delete this that would be and then get duration. The th so get <laughs> now click on duration just to make sure it's in minutes. Also, um, okay, oh, hold on. I, I wanted to before this thing check. actually started. What's things? Let me do this. Okay, and then uh, get duration time uh, oh so you might we might not know until we run it what kind of interval it's giving you you could okay use format i if you have okay, timer let's... format duration can give you a raw value um but you could just test it and see if it works so this failed <laughs> oh, oh because if well because if physical activity is yeah. walking so let me do stationary <laughs> let's see if that works okay we'll start with play have to choose an uh, item. The podcast one didn't. Something was passed. Something broke. Get duration. Get last item from episodes. Get episodes it of broke. podcasts. Find primary. Uh, limit the find to one. I think you passed in. Uh, drop the drop Wait. down arrow on find primary technology. I think you searched. Mul yeah, you're getting multiple podcasts back. Oh. Um, Critically stupid techniques is a great name of a podcast. <laughs> I didn't even know <laughs> I said that, which is perfect. Yeah, that's funny. 
<laughs> so I'm going to take out this play one. Yeah, it probably uh, doesn't right. need it. So I get podcasts. So, so I don't need this. Yeah. This I don't is need assuming this you're already listening either. to one then when it if you don't have play podcasts going. Right. But I don't need to get podcasts from library either, right? No, yeah, good point. Actually, now we don't. So just so find it, get the episodes, get last item, get duration, and then it should show that in quick look. Yeah. So let's see if that actually works. So it didn't I, get oh, anything. you know what? This might just not work right now. Uh, perfect example. <laughs> okay. It might just not provide the duration data, even though it says it does. Um, I did the get details of podcast episode, I thought. Yeah, not podcast. Because there's two different yeah, that, ones. I think I did this. So get duration, duration from item from list. Yeah. yeah try it now. But it's still not going to. No, it's not going to. Delete the sh- quick look and try it again just in case something's weird. Yeah, it honestly might oh. just not provide it. Wow. <laughs> um. So then you want to. Okay. No, I'm not going to do it any further, but technically you could call the podcast API. And get this data. I, d- I don't know if there's actually a method out there. Um, and if I don't know if Antonio is still here because it is like 1 a.m. for him sometimes, the time difference. But um, oh, <laughs> somebody, I think somebody's done it where you can, because it's similar to the iTunes API, it might be possible there. D- this looks like it, it, get details of podcast episode might be broken. I'm pretty sure it also doesn't provide a couple other things. Um, if I do it like this, Get episodes of primary like this. Oh. Let's do it like this. Because that actually pulls from... it. Get last okay. item duration. Yeah, no. See, because now, yeah. Oh, but I need to add Yeah, no, I think it just doesn't work. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Well, it was a nice thought. It's a good time to use the delete shortcut option. Good one, Russ. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I mean, it's the play part. The other parts still work. Yeah, I mean, that's that's where like it is. Like, man, it dri- it does drive me nuts because if I don't specifically notice this and file it, like they're not gonna go in and fix the details of the podcast RSS feed populating the shortcuts action that's built off like an old API that isn't gonna be updated anymore. Um, See, but I'm gonna let me try this because this I can choose. An episode. See, look, I got the duration. Uh, so if I work, so I chose from list. list. Hmm. That was choose from list. I don't know why. Like, I don't know. I don't know why that worked. And the maybe, if you get the whole list, and look at the last item, there could be like a weird thing. Try it again. Yeah, I can do. So last item, get duration. So, so when I could, that's so weird. Huh. When I manually chose it, you can get the duration, but the item from list Even action does first not work. Item? Yeah. It doesn't work. Oh, wait. But choose. You click on what? show duration, show the quick look one. Sorry for the live debugging. The list of episodes doesn't have a duration. Oh, no, but you're getting from the only one item. Is there a get? Get item from get... list isolates like just one variable. Right. So let's let me try one more thing. <laughs> let me. I can try it on my phone too, real quick. This is get part of it. It's just of... doing it over the screen. Get. Oh, I guess that was the same thing I did. Get duration from item and list. Yeah, that's that's weird. If you cho- if you choose it, if that's I do choose better. from list, it works. It's like a. Uh, super esoteric bug <laughs> so, only so combined weird. when combined with get item from list does it not work i can choose it there's the duration yeah i don't know that's really weird but it works if you if you do it where you but you have to manually choose it which is not fun but if you do do that then you can do the workout action and so let's see start workout and you could say outdoor, let's do outdoor walk. And the goal is the duration <laughs> in minutes. And so, yeah, yeah you see. can still so try it. this. 
And then you could play that That's episode true. once you've picked it specifically. All right. So if I do that, choose the latest episode, it should be starting a workout. And there's the workout on my, my Apple Watch, starting an outdoor walk. And let's see, does it show me the goal somewhere? You know, um, I'm there's looking the at... Your subscribers only, it's your subscribers only episode is what it's trying to get. Oh. That's what's happening. Your most recent one isn't showing up or maybe because you've already listened to it. Huh. Okay. That's what it is. Because I just tried it and it's showing a rant on Opaque App UI, which is your private one. Right. So maybe that's why it's not working. Okay. (laughs) Great. (sighs) <sighs> well, you could have an if <laughs> if no value is provided to an hour. Right, I didn't do um, that, yeah. Uh, but this is cool, though. God. You know, so <laughs> that was too much. <laughs> we got there. If you're walking or if you're stationary, set the duration for the outdoor walk by the episode. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, that's so cool. it's at least interesting. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So anyway, that's the get physical activity action. We, we got there. Huge, the uh, you know, it's a podcast, <laughs> as as intended. That's why it's li- yeah. I like doing it live because it is like there's there's a reason yeah. it doesn't make sense. And it could have been a bug. It could have been a very specific situation with the data or it could be shortcuts. And sometimes you don't really know. Um, yeah. so Can I specify something ask. that's really annoying, though, is so I had an issue with my Apple podcast subscriber episode today. So I had to delete that subscriber only episode and re-add it. Hmm. But I made the publish date yesterday because I like in the podcast app when it shows like the public episode as the latest one. So if you go to the Apple podcast app right now, it shows the public episode first, but this in the list, but whatever data it's pulling from in the shortcut must be looking at like when the episode was added to Apple, like when I have added it as opposed to the publish date that I set. So that's kind of annoying because, and, and, um, and, Again, in in every other situation, podcasts are shown in the date, the order they were added, not published. Even though it's like almost negligible difference, but then it add a, it adds up in the end. So if there was, if find podcasts wasn't first of all, that should be called search podcasts, and it's not. Yes. And and then you should be able to find podcasts from your library. All that is built off of a couple years old data. So like the podcast team isn't on top of it. I'm very right. curious. Let I we might be we might have more with those actions, but this is sort of going into WWDC and just like last yeah, year good. of. I have this whole theory that I think makes logical sense that the Apple can't build off of the shortcuts APIs until they exist, and they don't finish the APIs until WWDC and and even until September, and so like if the podcast team was going to make iOS 17 actions, they only publish them in iOS 18. I mean, they could do it in 17.34. Apple doesn't right. really either strategically do that right now or just choose to for some whatever reason. I would love, man, just for just to say out loud for us and for, for people to be interested in shortcuts, it's the easiest thing in the world to do to just give us two actions like this every release and then we can talk about it for an hour and a half and create 400 new shortcuts and yes. the world of possibility that didn't make sense yeah. otherwise. And so like just just going through all of the default apps and updating at least one of them every point release could give shortcuts and the community just like material to go off of that otherwise yeah. like I'm deep in like URL world um, <laughs> and things like that. So I really want more of that, but I think it's. I think that's what's always hard is, at least so far, and until shortcuts APIs get to like a stable place of, this works as expected and continues to work that way for the next twelve months, they don't really put effort into making better podcast actions because, they then, in iOS eighteen, come out with a whole new set or something like that. Um, right. I don't know necessarily, but I my my heart hopes that that's the case because then at least that means long term they're building forward and not but it's just like 
the worst part of being power users with Apple stuff is like we want it now and they'll yeah. get it perfect in three years. Um, Although, so I will say uh, at the podcast movement conference, uh, the Apple podcast team usually has some representatives there. Yeah. And there's a, a guy that, you know, I typically meet with a couple of times each of these conferences. He's on the Apple podcast team and he is a huge shortcuts user. Like, yeah, and he well, really loves shortcuts. Clip, man. <laughs> Yeah, so I said in this clip, like he showed me just last week a shortcut that he created for importing an OPML file. So if you wanted to import your podcast mm. subscriptions for something like Overcast or Pocket Cast, uh -huh. you can export an OPML file, but Apple Podcast doesn't have a built-in method for like import OPML uh, directly nice. in the Apple Podcast app. But using the shortcuts, uh, uh, shortcut you, you can do it. In one of my latest videos, I sh I have it in the description. Oh, you do? Okay, but, I didn't know that. I missed that one. Yeah, yeah. That's it. But he modified it uh, because basically what the shortcut uh, does uh, right now. Let me see. I'll just pull it up real quick. Sure. And this, and to be totally honest, I got it off of Reddit. Um, Dude, some of the some redditors users. are way beyond. Where Listen. even though I have so many, some of them have gone so deep, and that's where like I want to bring people on like that to so we can all like take it out yeah. and use it and not it like sometimes it gets buried there which is a, a bummer yeah like i don't even know who these people are but they're awesome <laughs> they're usually like anonymous or whatever but this is the uh, add podcast from opml file and basically what the shortcut does is uh you can get the text input like copy oh, nice. and paste the text basically um and then it has a bunch of like all these different actions to Here, wait, format go to the, the match problem. text i want to see that that's yeah, what's so that's those, the magic so that's the this is a, uh, I might need, I need to do this publicly too. Um, let me just bring myself in for a second. Cause I have, I do stuff with XML for WordPress and it's disgusting. Oh. Um, Cause I just literally have <laughs> blocks of XML that I like drop in um, right. and matching text and regular expression. This is how you scrape data out of a text blob. And this right. is, that's so good. That's perfect. So, and you know, I, I would have no idea how to do this myself, but but this will parse that OPML text that you copy from the file and follow all the subscriptions or the the you follow from that other app. What uh, the gentleman from Apple Podcast did is he added actions down here, where basically let him choose, like if you were maybe you followed like fifty podcasts in Overcast, but you don't want to bring them all into Apple Podcasts. He added a little like if statement or choose from list. I forget exactly what he did. But basically, as it runs through each show, I think it has to run through each show individually. He uh, added an action where like, yes or no, basically. Hmm. And if no, it would skip that podcast from the OPML file and go to the next one. But if yes, then it would follow it from Apple Podcasts. And I think that would be pretty easy to do here. Um, you yeah, would just add that. Where, where it I says follow, see... you... It's something in, because it's it's basically is he just trying to get it if it already exists, not to try to follow it again. Well, he he wanted to be able to manually choose, mm -hmm. and so basically, like before this follow action, you could put, um, you know, choose from menu. Oh, I see. Uh, yes, no, and like under yes, put this follow action for that particular show, or no, then don't follow it. That that so, method is something that I no i should use and i don't because it feels <laughs> dumb also i'm just using the least <laughs> eloquent way yeah, to say that but it would work yeah, it's it would work. super true that you can make a yes or no thing out of the menu but something maybe it's just the way it looks is i want it to be like show or alert um yeah yeah but <laughs> so but anyway this this is a great um shortcut here uh, that i put in the video but again just really helpful because this is not a built-in thing in the apple podcast app there's no way to like import from opml can, uh, but this shortcut lets you do it can so, you export yeah. what's that can you export X opml from podcasts i don't know there's there's no there's no there's no anything like you wanna, if you go to your library who wants to to bill bill in here <laughs> i it. think is volunteered by saying parsing xml with regexes makes baby jesus cry i think bill <laughs> wants to make a shortcut that takes your podcast and turns it into opml <laughs> I mean, that would be awesome. But like, yeah, this is the only options you get in the Apple Podcasts library. It's follow show by URL, new station or edit library. And I think if yeah. you go to like the settings app, you know, there are some options, um, but nothing like 
OPML anything. Hmm. Like I bet just maybe have... on desktop. I wonder if you probably can. No. Oh well, let's see. Let me go to my uh, Apple Podcast on my, my desktop here. If I go to File, no, yeah, there's there's no. not even a way to do that here. Just follow a show by URL, controls, view, account, hmm. and then even under po- podcast settings. Okay, you know what? We should advanced. get advanced. We should There's get not... Chat GPT to build us the shortcut and fail, figure out the XML because no one, no one should do that on their own. Um, <laughs> no one should do that on their own. No, no, yeah, just don't. like it's not worth the energy, but it's if you can just uh, no, get please, it done please. using something like that, it's actually a decent idea. I do want to. Um, I feel yeah. like we missed a couple of minutes, but it, but... mentions too. Comments. Yeah. Okay, there's so I'm... many like little text shortcut actions that I'm, I I wish I could ask you about, and I they're like not I, can't, I don't have them off the top of my head. Yeah, oh, I'm trying, I'm trying to remember. I usually run into like something silly, and yeah. Do you still find that uh, like when you're running shortcuts that get details of article from Safari, like you're trying to get the name of an article or whatever, it doesn't work on Mac where it'll work on iPad and iPhone. Probably that probably got fixed okay. and then they rerouted it. I would assume. Um, <laughs> okay. I think I stopped trying. Oh. Um. And I still I still <laughs> wish I could figure out, this is maybe a Vitigi question because we had talked about it before. I want to be able to use the ChatGPT API with yeah. zero interaction. I just want to send it a single prompt, get a single return, and have no input on my side. And like, um. yes, you can use the ChatGPT built-in action, but that's only iPhone and iPad, then you can't run it on your Mac. Hmm. And it fails a lot. Whereas I find Vitici's SGPT shortcut that uses the API never fails, yeah. like never it ever should. fails. I I I still haven't done the the tokenization, and he has a whole, um, like external shortcut to do that logic. So I think that's right. where it it is like complicated because yeah. you need to be able to tell it how long of a response you want and how many tokens to use. Um, but we could probably yeah. figure out a thing that's like, what do you prefer? Or just like, I don't know. I mean, we could we could try it. Yeah. I, let's try it on another stream for sure because it'll. It, yeah, that's yeah. just like a dig in. That's less like tune in for fun. It's like we'll be smashing our head against it for an hour. Um, but still and totally did, like, doable. Honestly, maybe of... maybe teach you would be down to show us or something like that would be I cool wish. too. Get a three triple i almost said the worst I, I would love i would love to just bask in that knowledge because i did like so he has the sgpt shortcut and then he oh. has like the sgpt encoder like the side shortcut and so yeah I, I stared at that i stared at every action in the vitici shortcut to try to understand and my brain was just like it was like looking at calculus I still yeah i think that's why it's like once you once you get into it you can like you have to I mean, it's it is like programming. Like you really have to get into yeah. a mind space for that program and and remember what you're doing. Um, yeah. So, yeah. Okay. I don't. I've never actually. I don't know how to say Sandre. Sort. I don't know how to say his Sandre name, but he's my favorite developer because he's obviously <laughs> he's just like, what if I make a single serving shortcut function for all these different things, and that's like perfect for me. I love it. Um, AI actions okay. has a call. That will accept a prompt and get a reply, and it's probably for Mac too. I know what you mean though about just being able to like sp- correct the spelling using AI or something right. like that. I can. Is this? I guess that looks probably. like it. The AI yeah. actions. Okay. All right. I've not. Uh, I've not tried this. I'm gonna try it. You might. There might be like. I don't. He probably can't have his uh, token, so you might have to pay or like something like. Well, that. Well, I pay for the API. So yeah, well, I think developers can't make apps that just accept tokens. Like Apple doesn't want you to, even though it makes sense in a shortcuts context, they don't want people to like just make shells. Um, oh yeah, Russ has well, one. This, See, this, this is why like v- Vitici is the only one who's shared a, a major one, but there's there are others on Reddit too where people have figured out how to tap into it. I honestly like it was the same thing of I I got <laughs> I stopped myself because I was too worried about trying to add shortcut uh, AI shortcuts into every single one. Um, oh, uh, so 
Russ, we can't yeah, do. Ahead. I don't think you can do URLs in YouTube chat. Um, I'm not sure if you're part of the Discord that I have, which I don't think I have a good link for either. And then I can't paste. I am. I am a part of it, but I also never open Discord just because. I, if I you're on uh, <laughs> Mastodon or something, Russ, yeah. or yeah, you can send it to us there. Um, oh, so the the actions app that I've used is is Sandre's Saurus. Yeah. That's yeah, that's, that's what he's oh, made. Um, he makes oh. a ton. There's one weird one is called Velha. I don't. Sometimes there's, I admit, some uh, foreign developers their names don't translate in a way that makes sense to me. But that's a no no shade or anything. I just don't understand it sometimes. Um, but yeah, yeah. that's one for opening links in browsers on Mac. So if you want to open oh. in Google Chrome, I can do it over, right, over right. Apple Script, but it's just like make it a shortcut instead oh nice right, okay right. russ has got it in the discord um all right thank you russ very cool oh your pc drama see i never i do lose track of people's names because it's i don't know that doesn't associate <laughs> um that's awesome yeah, yeah. i'm glad to have you man um so to, i totally want to do more like discord type stuff like this might be a good doing a whole chat gpt thing like I think I'll do, I want to do a stream like that where I don't really announce it, but we just go live so that people can sure. tune in and we can capture it on YouTube. But then yeah, yeah. it's just like we spend an afternoon building it. Um, so for sure, anytime you're down, I'm down to do it. Yeah, yeah, we'll do it again. Well, I'm going to try, I'm going to try this. Uh, I downloaded the the AI actions and you just put in your chat GPT API key and then supposedly oh, you nice. can just it run does. it. Hmm. I'm, yeah, maybe I'm, so. probably shortcuts might have like special exemption things versus... I don't know. It's, the thing is, you might just all these apps, too, so. all these apps like Actions too. You can't get them on the Mac, right? I think you can. I think he does make his universal. Let's check. See, but I can't. Well, I'm looking right now, and yeah, I, I mean, he I might just. To... There might be different considerations, um, just for like AI actions. Yeah. Yeah. See, I don't see him on the Mac, and um, yeah, yeah so that, amazing that's, AI. That's the thing. And I know Honestly, I can create dude, a shortcut. He's great too. Like it's a good example of like he he has the same problems we have. And so but he just instead yeah. of building a shortcut, he builds an app that provides that shortcut action and that Love it. like I honestly wish I could do that because that would be great too. <laughs> um, yeah. You could ninety nine cents a pop. He amazing. has speech to text and text to image diffusion on Mac, but not the specific chat one but yeah i mean honestly if it's like he might not immediately do it or whatever but he's right, right, right. he seems legit i want to get people like that i want he gives them all away for free and i want him to make a lot of money um i know uh, yeah i was wondering like, I how don't do know i give how, him but money <laughs> i just how want do i give him money because <laughs> uh, it's like i want more of that if you can keep it up like hell yeah but also i guess yeah. why it's free is why he doesn't have to think about it as much sometimes so that's, yeah, that's, that's a, a balance. Well, I'm going to try the AI actions. We'll see, well, I'm going to try it out. Yeah. So. See, Bill's saying, I believe you can do it. Come be a programmer. Uh, I think Steve and I already are programmers. <laughs> we're we're scripters. I'm not a developer is the difference. Because um, it's true, I man. Like, I don't, claim, man. The reason I don't develop the apps is I don't usually need to. I can make a shortcut and then I'm, I get it done. And it's been, I spent, oh no, my face is frozen. In a horrible pose. <laughs> then I don't need uh here, let's I'll do the side angle. My camera there is go, my camera go. dead? That's so weird. <laughs> All right, the we'll battery do, do side <laughs> angle for now. Um see last time yeah, I asked you, you said no, I'm not a programmer. Yeah, I've I've developed we're we're getting believing in ourselves. Um there honestly the difference is I don't I think Steven, maybe you experienced this too, but like I just want to understand more what programmers do in terms of like planning a thing and setting it up and that like life cycle of product management that otherwise I do just like make a bunch of shortcuts and I don't really know to like productize it and do those other things is a whole different world or like even long-term, obviously like nobody should have 4,000 shortcuts. So like how do you make that functional for other people um is a whole like a legit problem that i have of 
Right. And I can turn them into giant menus, but that's not right. And so like, what should yeah. shortcuts be long term? Apple needs to create better affordances for all of us. Like we need subgroups. I need the ability if you could take if you could take folders, put them in a group, and then take that group and add it to your home screen with ten folders. That's like what I do, and I spend hours doing that. And if you could just make it a feature, everybody could use shortcuts the way I do in like a second. And if you could make right. me share a folder, install from iCloud, like there's so much low yeah. hanging fruit to just make the shortcuts experience a lot better for people. Like, because then we can get beyond just some of these basics and really get that stuff out and deeper into those chat GPT things. And, right. and that can be more approachable too, so. And there's also like, it's hard because people have similar use cases, but similar use cases is, is not enough for one shortcut to cover those use cases. You know, where I'm thinking of one example where I had a YouTube viewer re email me. He's a pilot, so he travels frequently. And what he wanted was a way to log his hotel room number in a way that he could then quickly retrieve it because he's in hotels all the time. He wants to be able to keep track of this stuff more elegantly than just putting it in a note each time. Yeah. And so one of the recent shortcuts I made was using data jar, which I finally figured out several use cases for that. And I love nice. it, but using data jar where you can run the shortcut and choose from a menu, whether he's logging a hotel room name or he's checking what the number is. He puts his hotel room number, it logs the address of the hotel that he's at. So, you know, if he runs the shortcut, like in the lobby of the hotel, yeah. it logs that address. And then he can run the shortcut again to retrieve and get directions back to the hotel if he goes out to dinner or whatever, nice. and shows him the hotel room number once it gets back on location. And like, it's simple enough where I could create it, but it's complicated enough where it, for other people to use that same idea of a shortcut, they have to have the skills to to tweak yeah. it a little it bit. It like takes a uh, thought technology to use a Merlin manism of just like, yes of like a technique. I think that's where I I know that I have techniques and to approach a situation and but it's really formalizing that in a way that programmers do that is like and that's where it's just like we don't really have an industry around it that isn't just you and I talking back and forth <laughs> directly about it. Um, so that's yeah. where just, I mean, I, that's why honestly like to bring it back around is like, I love your videos because it you're really, it's, it's harder to capture some of the like stuff we figured out in real time here in a video and sit down and pre-plan that spontaneous moment. Um, that's why in theory I want to do these so that we can just like look back at it and be like, oh yeah, do that, yeah, make yeah. a video out of that moment now. Um, but it, it really just like, helps people think in think in shortcuts and i think that's where right. maybe if we get into further ai stuff where it can just take some of the setup out like with app shortcuts that we got um can go a lot further and building it i mean man the the most exciting part about something like that is putting it into yours and i hand because if we can tell it to create mm -hmm. this automation built using data jar and this and scripting actions and it can just figure that out. Like, I wish we could pass. I, I, I want them to train their short, their data on like our shortcuts and stuff like that, rather than <laughs> I like behavior on the devices doesn't capture a, a workflow that you've built using shortcuts and scripting actions. Um, but yeah, right. I mean, that's why right. keep up the good work. And uh, Thank you, man. I think what there's so much more and I and do it just for my sake. So I can keep getting inspired. <laughs> I know I've said this to you before, well, man, but I'm you... like, damn it, man, you made the exact video that I would have. But like, that's why it's like perfect though. Like, I don't know. Let's just, I, I'll still try to make them and we'll, we'll have to friendly compete on those, but it is just like, Absolutely. that's why it's, there's so much room and, and we can bounce off each other's ideas and get people from the chat and stuff like that too. Also, Bill had a good point. You can donate to Sandre. Um, so oh, you can. Okay. Yeah, that's always worth doing. Um, we'll do. Well, so, yeah. Matt, you, th th thanks for having me as always. And and I will say like, I mean, you and Vitici really are the two that, you know, I, I used Workflow back when it was like the original app and I thought it was cool, but you guys are the ones that really showed what was possible. 
and inspired me to like make videos about it and, and help people, you know, even one or two action shortcuts. Uh, people love that kind of stuff because if it just removes a little bit of friction from their everyday lives, it's worth it for them to figure out. And I think that's the value that that hopefully we can all, you, Vitici, me, show people like even just like a couple of minutes building a very simple shortcut and it might save you hours of time over the course of a year. Yeah, and that just, alone uh, could be worth it. Just fiddling too. Like I don't, yeah. the devices, it is too hard to get some of the stuff. And so you just end up not doing it. And that's why like shortcuts gives me a route to do that stuff more often intentionally because I want to and because I give myself a place to do it and just a thing to tap and do it with that otherwise I have right. to choose. So uh, that's, <laughs> that's why we got to get Tichi on is because he's he's who i've learned from too and so that's where it's just like with our powers combined (laughs) i think with your powers combined and i'll just sit back and admire whatever happens because that would be an epic epic uh, collaboration so yeah please invite me if you guys do that you can bring the the, the handsome vibes so (laughs) and the the cool accent vibes he he brings it all (laughs) um where should people find you if they don't already know and if they're watching the replay as well yeah, I mean, youtube.com slash at Beard FM. Uh, trying to get to 100K this year. We'll see if we can do it. So you can go there, or you can just go to my website, beard.fm, and all my links are there as well. Nice. And, uh, nice. Yeah, that's where Any you social stuff Thank- as well? It's Stephen yeah, Robles at, everywhere. Else, at right? Stephen yeah. Robles everywhere. I'm threaded in the Fediverse, and I'm in the Fediverse on Mastodon. So still have to figure out like how I'm doing that. I'm basically like yeah. posting on threads, which shows up in Mastodon, and then I'll boost it from my original Mastodon account. It's kind of a mess right now, but hmm. you know, you can just follow me in all those places. Cool. I'm there. Awesome. Well, thank yeah, you man. for coming on as always, and I really appreciate your time. Everybody, thank you for tuning in. Um, it's been awesome, and as always, check out the show notes for chapter markers. Uh, check out my newsletter, uh, What's New in Shortcuts, on my website. And also, if you're interested, a membership program. Um, and yeah, I'll go back through comments, too, if I missed anything and answer them. Um, and also, I guess I should have said this at the top, but you can always leave comments afterwards, and we can get back to them later. All right. Uh, thank you for tuning in, and thanks for coming to the show. Thanks for having me.